I see Kelly Gallagher enjoying herself. This is Mali Boshe. I'll try and bring you an update on Alana Ramsey in a second. And this is Mali Boshe, who already has the double. Boshe will be hoping to. Uh, Make all five medals her own. Boche in the women's, Boche in the men's. It's going very well in the standing for Team France. It's been confirmed that Alana Ramsey is a DNS, does not start, so that will complete the confusion for you. Boche, never mind starting, she's on a flyer already. The rest of the ladies will take note. Boche through the line, 105. Zero two. It's quick. From the imperious Manny Boche, as Stephen Jameson called her a little earlier. Simply brilliant is one way of looking at it. You see the girls from the VI. Up to the top we go again. Andrea Rothfuss. Finished behind Boshe in Pyeongchang. Is that where she finishes the World Championships as well? We might have waited a while for the action, but now we're here. It will fly, it really will. These ladies, not uh, so many of them here competing, but they will make their way down this mountain very, very quick. 29-year-old from Freudenstadt. Already 1.75 seconds down. Two more Canadians to come after this. Rothfuss staying safe, looking simple and clever enough through these gates. No real dramas for Germany's Rothfuss. She's pulled it back by one tenth through the second section. Is there enough speed to make it even closer through the bottom section? Flying through the cameras. No, really dropping in that bottom section. 110.88. It's a big difference towards the bottom of the run. Rothfuss goes second. Big opportunity for the two Canadian ladies here, Pemble and Turgeon. I saw the emotional scenes from Fred Turgeon in Kranska Gora. This is Mel Pemble. Just the use of the ski pole in the left hand for Mel. A chance to claim a world championship medal. There's a real open door here. That's for one of these two Canadians, you feel, to ski through it. the work in the legs of Pemble. Her impairment is cerebral palsy. For those with that, they really have to fight in the lower half. Certainly for men on that right side. Originally born in uh, Lytham St Anne's. It's been over Canada for almost a decade. Pemble going steady, tucking herself in nicely to try and gain as much speed through the sections where she can. She'll now hear the bells that are ringing at the bottom, the cowbells. She's some 12 seconds off the lead, but is it quicker than Turgeon will go? That is now the gamble. One more Canadian, one Romanian, one Japanese skier. 
all of those could affect the standings. This is Frederic Turgeon. If you were watching the first half of these World Championships, you'd have seen the tears and the embrace between Turgeon and Boucher as Frederic picked up her first World Championship medal, dedicating that run to her father, who sadly passed away at the end of last year. She said, when I'm skiing, I feel like he's watching me, so that means I'm with him. And those real emotional scenes in Kranzka Gora. Can she replicate another medal? 1.57 would suggest that she's on pace, but it's hard work out there for the single leg skiers. And Turgeon spraying the side of that course as she makes her way around that bend. 49.89 at the next intermediate. How quick is Turgeon going? Just outside, 0.85 now. Has Turgeon got something else in this bottom half? We saw Rothfuss get close to Boucher in the opening section. It was the bottom where the French skier excelled. Turgeon into the final bend then, 105 has gone. A 111 for Turgeon, which will put her on the podium. Not far behind Andrea Rothfuss as well, so I'm sure Turgeon and her coaches will be looking at where that little bit of time was lost. Now, this is Lara Balienu. Balienu from Romania. Down at the first intermediate, but so has everybody else when chasing a certain Marie Boucher. Leonu towards the second intermediate now. Twenty-nine years old, resides in uh, Munich these days. First athlete in any sport to represent Romania in a Paralympic Winter Games back in 2010 when she uh, competed in the Alpine in Vancouver. So uh, it's all about setting first at all. 112.78, that's not far outside of a medal position. This could be her best ever performance if she's gone into fourth here. Which I think she has. This would be Laura's best ever finish at a World Championship. So well done. If that is the case, if Ami Hondo is quicker, it will equal the Romanian's best ever finish. But uh, Ami Hondo on the course now, the final of the standing athletes to go. Again, not up to pace through the first section. Getting really low and Driving those skis into each of these bends. 22 year old. Born with, without fingers on her left hand. So, uh, hence the use of the ski pole only in the right. Comes towards the line. Oh, this could be a surprise. 111.06. That should put her in third. And it does. Ami Hondo with a massive performance. And look at the shock on her face. Oh, she's delighted. Shocked for a moment. And then the smile came. She can't wait to get out of there and go and confirm with somebody. But Ami Hondo. 
was the last of the athletes to come and has stolen a place on the podium by five tenths of a second. Well, Hondo into third, Roftus with second.